Okay, so let's use uh, logarithms to figure out uh, something to do um, in an experiment with short-term memory. So apparently, in a, an experiment designed to test short-term memory, uh, the researchers found that the probability at time t of a subject actually recalling a pattern of numbers and letters, t seconds after the pattern is, uh, and then you can see the formula there. Uh, so the two questions they would like to know is first, what is the probability that the subject can recall the pattern immediately? So this is, they show it to you and t equals zero. What happens? Uh, what's the probability they can recall it immediately? And the second point is, our second question is, how much time passes before the probability drops to 0.3? So how long is it going to take before the probability of recall goes to 0.3? So let's answer the first question. So the first question is asking, what is the probability? Well, we have a formula for the probability. The only thing that we need to know here is what t value should we use in our formula? Well, this says they would like to know the probability that the subject can recall the uh, pattern immediately. So t is how long after the pattern was shown. So immediately means zero time has passed. So in this case, t is zero. So we can just directly plug t in uh, equals zero into this. So our probability at time zero is 0 0.8 times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.98 times 0 0.82 to the power of 0 because t equals 0. Okay, well anything to the power of 0 here is uh, 1. So this becomes 0 0.8 times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.98. And we can add these two things together. This becomes 0.99. So at the end of the day, the uh, probability of recall immediately after is 0 0.8 times 0.99. And you can actually just leave it like that if you want. So uh, part B asks, how long will it take before uh, the probability is 0 0.3? So in this question, they're actually saying that P is equal to 0 0.3. So P is equal to 0 0.3, and the question is, what is the time? What does the time equal? So we can uh, plug in 0 0.3 for our probability. So now we have our probability is actually uh, equal to 0 0.3, and that on the right-hand side of our formula is 0 0.08 times 0 0.01 plus 0 0.98 times 0 0.82 to the power of t. Now t is something that we don't know. So now we have to rearrange this equation to solve for t. Unfortunately, t is in an exponent, uh, so we can't use uh, some simple stuff. We're going to have to use logarithms to get that t out of the ex uh, out of the numerator, or sorry, the exponent. So the first thing we're going to need to do is divide both sides by 0 0.8. So this becomes 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 equals 0 0.01 plus 0 0.98 uh, 0 0.82 to the power of t. Okay, we can uh, move this 0 0.01 to the left-hand side. So this becomes 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.01. And now on the right-hand side, we have left 0 0.98 times 0 0.82 to the power of t. Okay, now to continue to try to isolate t, we can then divide both sides by 0.98. So this becomes uh, 1 divided by 0 0.98, 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.01 is equal to 0 0.82 to the power of t. So now if we want to get that t over there, what we can do is we can take the log of both sides. In principle, you could take the log of base uh, 0.82, I suppose, if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, but it's probably more natural to use a natural logarithm. So we're just going to take ln of both sides. So we have ln of uh, 1 divided zero by 0 0.98 times. So this is all inside the ln. So this is all inside the ln. 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.01. Okay, so that's all inside the ln. And on the right-hand side, we have ln of 0 0.82 to the power of t. Now, because we can, um, because we have a, a, an exponent inside of a logarithm, we can bring the t out front and we can divide both sides by ln 0.82. So at the end of the day, uh, let's see if I can fit it in here, uh, ln of 
1 over 0 0.98 times 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.8 minus 0 0.01 that's all inside the lawn on the uh, left hand side divided by lawn of the right hand side which is lawn oops lawn of 0 0.82 and that is equal to t Okay, and of course you could, if you're really interested, you could put this into your calculator and actually get a value for t, but this is totally an accurate numerical result. Uh, this is the number of seconds um, that has to go by uh, before the probability drops to 0.3.